Hey, hey, what's up? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Magical Virgin, and I'm back with another reading. So, this is our Monday Madness reading, right? Monday's always hectic. It's a work, your first work day. Assuming you ain't got off Monday, but yeah. So, we're gonna see what's going down. Um, everything has been saged, cleansed, prayed over, and all that good stuff. Um, let's just hop right into it. All right, Spirit. Our first day here. Give us one day. I'm not going to take me there, Spirit. Come on, man. Give me one card for one day, please. The black fox, y'all. Monday, the black fox. Somebody being sneaky. Talking shit. Mm. Tuesday, the lily. Growth, newness. I'm abundance and happiness. Wednesday, spirit. Crossroads. Um, Wednesday, some of you guys will be at crossroads. You will have a lot to think about. Maybe different opportunities coming your way. Thursday, Spirit. Mm, too many. One for Thursday. Friday spirit. You want to take it? The tower. All right, again. So Monday you got the black fox. Um, this is my swiper, no swiping card. So this is somebody who's um possibly taking credit for your work. Somebody who's sneaking behind your back, looking at your work. Um, going back to a boss, telling, snitching. Right? Swipe or no swiping. Black box. Sneakiness. Conniving. Um, this is a person who um, smiles smiles in your face and um, stabs you in the back. Sly. Right? So, yeah, that's your Monday. Somebody's definitely in your business. Um, talking wild. Possibly stealing your um, your ideas or taking credit for your work. Give us more on this black fox skirt on Monday here. Yeah. Somebody's trying to disturb your peace. You're here peaceful, chilling, enjoying your day, enjoying your mon your Monday. Got your coffee, you got your tea. Um, you done did your meditations for the morning, you done did yo yoga. And um, you got this black fox here in your energy. Somebody who's watching you. Yeah. This person's watching your every move. Swipe or no swiping. Nine of Cups. They're watching you be abundant. They're watching you be... Um, at peace with yourself and things that are, you know, things going on around you. This person might not like their own life. Let's see more of this. I don't know. Yeah, and I have to, nine pentacles. They see you as somebody who's independent. Somebody who, who needs for nothing. Somebody who's beautiful, shiny, vibrant, right? Shiny. This person's wondering how the hell you do it. This person is wondering how the hell do you remain so peaceful and so abundant. And they're watching this. Be careful because this is somebody who's trying to take this from you, right? The black fox, swiper, no swiping. That fox knew everywhere Dora went. Right? He was always watching her. 
He was always wondering what the fuck was in her backpack. He was always wondering how she was figuring out clues and shit. Um, and this person's wondering this about you. Swipe or no swiping. They're watching you. <clears throat> this person could even be watching you over the internet. So, um, these guys, don't be friends with your work friends on Facebook or any other social media, you know? So that's your Monday, y'all. Y'all are being watched by somebody at work. Somebody who's sneaky and conniving. Swipe or no swiping. Somebody who wants what you have. Somebody who's watching you um, live abundantly and <clears throat> and be at, at peace. Um, if you are going through some struggles right now, you're not showing it. Um, Monday, you're 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 pretty happy. You're emotionally fulfilled. You know, you must have had a good weekend. You're feeling abundant. You're feeling happy. But this person that is watching you does not like it. The Lily Spirit Tuesday. <clears throat> Give me more about. <clears throat> give me more on this this lily here for Tuesday's week. Mm. Yep. Five of Wands. Um, somebody trying to block your path here, because the lily is growth and expansion, right? The lily is newness, vibrance, right? And I feel like there's obstacles here Tuesday. There's obstacles um, that come with this this newness. There's obstacles that come with this um with your cups here. <clears throat> hmm. Somebody's trying to block your growth. Um, this person, it could be still this this black box here. Somebody's trying to block your growth here at your at at your work or at home. Somebody's trying to block your path. They're trying to block your growth. Yeah. Get here of swords. Um. <clears throat> this is also my card for um. This is just a very feminine card here. <clears throat> this card also represents the female genitalia to me. So this is my vagina. I don't know if y'all see it, but yeah, the clitoris, the entrance. <clears throat> and then you have this broken heart. So some of these guys could have had a recent heartbreak. Um, Something about this lily. Something about this this access to this lily. I mean, you could have cut somebody out of your life recently. Blocked them. They're not getting your lily no more. That that thing thing. They're not getting that love making anymore. <clears throat> this could also be this black black fox person because this is just somebody who's sneaky and conniving. So this could be a a, a person at work or somebody at in in your home life. You know, a partner or a friend. But with this card, I'm getting a partner because um, the poom poom is being blocked because of a broken heart. <clears throat> For others of you, yeah, your path is um, somebody's trying to block your path. You know, they're trying to block the path to growth, and they're using pain, heartbreak, and heartache to do this. If this is a love situation with this broken heart and this black fox, <clears throat> you may be broken hearted, but this black fox doesn't even know it. Cause they're, they're wondering, how are you here? How are you at peace and with your money? How, how don't you care? Cause you're not, you're not showing people that you're, you're hurt. You're showing up here as this beautiful woman, somebody who's abundant. And um, whose cups are filled, somebody who's emotionally stable, somebody who's um, emotionally and financially stable. This black fox. For some of y'all, this black fox is you. Shoot, some of y'all probably scheming people. Scheming. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Woo, that's not y'all, that's somebody around you. But yeah, well, I'm seeing that the. the um, the Pum Pum Axis has definitely been blocked. And somebody's trying to block your growth here. 
this could be at work, this could be your home life. Yeah, the lily. Crossroads, yeah. That's probably why um Tuesday, Wednesday, coming into Wednesday Wednesday, you're at a crossroad. Wednesday, you guys got decisions to make. Give me more on this crossroads kit. Crossroads. Ooh. Three of Wands. Still the path, the journey. Um, not knowing what direction to go in Three of Wands. Three of Wands is also kind of like that waiting. Mm, three of Wands. Ooh, yeah. Two of Swords. Um, not trusting your intuition. Not knowing what path to go down. You know, feeling a little stuck with this Three of Wands. You got Three Wands and Three Paths. Three opportunities. Three, um different directions that you could go in, right? For some of you, this is, um, you're the one with two people. And don't know what path, what person you should be, what or what path you should go down. But yeah, Wednesday is definitely a crossroad day. Decisions. You're gonna have a lot on your mind. Um, you're gonna be stuck between your head and your heart. Mm, the letter spirit. Is this a Dear John letter? Is this the breakup text? Because the letter is bonds, right? Um, it's contracts. It's bonds. It's soul ties. It's also um, messages, you know, communication. Um, this could be internet, phone, any type of communication, even face-to-face, -face, even though it's um, presented here with a letter. So spirit, give us more on this letter here. Thursday, Spirit. What's going on Thursday? This letter. Mm. Goddess of Wands. This could be some good news. This could be a turnaround event. We know the Wands are on communications, right? And the Goddess of Wands. So this is ideas, newness, um, some type of passion coming through, some type of message of opportunity here possibly with this goddess of wands um this could be employment right because the goddess of wands is equivalent to the queen of wands hmm. yep four of cups some type of new opportunity um some of you have applied for jobs. Some of you are going after homes, buying cars. Because this is a contract of some sort, right? So this could be a bank loan. This could be anything that is a bond or abiding you to something, bonding you to something. Goddess of Wands, Daughter of Cups. Definitely a message of some type of new opportunity coming into you. This is something that's unexpected. This is going to spark a passion within you. Um, this is going to be um, something that you love with this goddess of wands. Something that you're going to want to take action towards once you find out. Mm, Thursday. Friday, spirit, this tower. The Hierophant. Give me another one for this tower, please, girl. Mm, that was fast. The sun. This is Friday. So the tower, there's two towers in this deck. This tower is basically like a waiting tower. This is stuck at home. This is feeling trapped at home, waiting to get free, wanting to escape. Um, 
with this Hierophant and this Sun card, I feel like it's good news and celebrations for the weekend. I feel like um, Tuesday and Wednesday might be a little rough for you. Well, coming into Thursday and Friday, things pick up lovely, and you have reasons to celebrate. You got new opportunities here. Um, time to get out this house. Time to get out this tower, right? The Hierophant. Higher education, higher learning, higher commitments, right? The Hierophant. Um, new new knowledge. This could very be, well be you, you know, out with your peoples explaining this good news that has came into you. The sun celebration. The hierophant also represents some type of high institution, just as the queen of wands does. Higher level of consciousness, higher level of commitments, new opportunities the sun so this looks like a great opportunity that's coming in it's going to get you um out of this uh, feeling of feeling trapped within this tower it's going to help you break free yeah definitely celebrations for the weekend let's get a little bit more into this a little bit more in depth this black fox spirit, because we got to clarify some of this. Monday with this black fox. Who is watching um, our person watching? Who's watching, you know, our virgins out here? Hmm. The black fox spirit. Let me go on this black fox, please. Clarify who this black fox is. Table, please. Table. Mm. The Hermit. Hmm. The Hermit. Another. Powerful woman. I hope the black fox ain't y'all person watching. Oh, it could be. It very well could be the black fox, right? The hermit. Um, you have the hermit card and powerful woman. The black fox. Meditation, introspection, right? The hermit. The black fox is somebody who's lonely. Um, possibly somebody who is depressed at this time. They're reflecting back on their own life. And that's the reason why they're watching you. Because they want to be abundant. Introspection. They're watching how you're doing everything. How are you here at this same job as them? How are you here at the same um, level as them but yet you're being you're living so much more abundantly than they are this could be anybody job or home life this is somebody who stays in isolation the hermit they don't come outside um with this powerful woman this could definitely be a boss somebody that's at your job You know, bossy, egotistical, powerful woman, right? Leadership, somebody who has achievements. This could definitely be where um, somebody that's at your job, um, a boss or a manager, um, female that does not like you. And they really just don't like you because um, you have, you possess something that they don't have. Although you guys are inside the same work environment. Um, so this has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with you being happy. Your cup's being full. Having stability. Mentally, emotionally. 
being physically beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. This is, um, <clears throat> these are the nines. So after the nine is the queen, right? So this pe person just sees some, sees, they actually see you as a powerful woman. In all um, reality, they see your achievements. They see that you're successful and they see your strength. And that makes them feel insecure about themselves and send them, sends them into the hermit mode. You know, and then now they're just watching you. Introspection. Watching you comparing their lives to your life, comparing their looks to your look. Right. If this is somebody who you left in the past because of hurt, because you know, we do got the lily with um the heartbreak and this blockage, right? <clears throat> so if this black box is a lover that you left in the past, they are watching you. The hermit. They're they're watching you be this powerful woman. They're watching their strength. They're watching your achievements, right? And they're feeling lonely at this time, and that's the reason why they're watching you. They're lonely and they are depressed. Yeah, the black box. <clears throat> the lily spirit. Um, this blockage. Like, why is this lily being blocked? This growth or um, this this sex? Because um, this lily. If this is a work situation, this is your your work being blocked, right? Your growth at work being blocked. Somebody's trying to block that. Somebody's trying to ca cause you harm and pain. Um, if this is a love situation, then you have blocked this person sexually. Right? This person is no longer able to um, be intimate with you. So, let's get more on this lily spirit. Why is the lily being blocked? Why is this lily being blocked? Yep. Twin flame, love. Um, you need, <clears throat> you need healing at this time. Um, you and this person are in separation. This is a twin flame. These guys could be a little bit. Uh, um, this person. <clears throat> Ooh, this person could be a little up obsessed obsessed with you <clears throat> these guys are definitely in separation at this time something that you found out black fox because black fox is also secrets so um yeah you found out about something with this twin flame hmm give me more why is this being blocked why is the lily being blocked from the twin flame Something that you found out, student. You have a uh, student and desert. Student and desert. Right? So with this student card, you see how she's sitting at a computer? This is telling me that you found out something over the internet. You found out something about this person. Yeah, you observed something. You heard something. You've seen something. Student, study. You've been studying this person. You've had clarity on something. You've gained clarity on something that you've seen, learning, right? You've learned something, discovered, right? Mm. And with this desert card, um, I'm just picking up like that desert, that, that's that, um, you know, the desert feeling lost, feeling alone. Feeling a lost and alone, feeling let down, right? Just having barriers, and that's the reason why you block this person. Yeah, this twin flame, um, 
you gain some clarity or you've seen something, you gain some type of clarity on this situation, being this student, being this FBI agent here, spying on this per person and watching them. So that's Tuesday. Um, separation from the twin flame. You might have blocked this person, blocked them sexually, intimately. Um, I don't know if you guys are actually talking on the phone at this time, because right now these guys are both just spying on each other. person watching if you are the black fox then you're spying you're the one that's spying on this other person's um whoever they're cheating on you with i hate to say it like that but that's what it is yeah student twin flame student in desert clarity wins wisdom right <clears throat> on a situation that's tuesday wednesday spirit the crossroad um, why is the crossroads here? Intuition, three of wands, spirit. Give me more on this. This crossroad, not knowing what what to do or what to believe, right? Not knowing what path to go down. Fighting your head and your hearts. Fear. Intuition, right? I'm just gonna take them both. We have do you remember an individuality do you remember an individuality right crossroads do you remember um you're having a hard time making this choice this crossroad right you're having a hard time making this choice because it's the memories um, this twin flame journey, right? You feel like you're your soulmates. You feel like your your past lives, right? You feel like you've known this person forever, right? And it's just been hard for you to move on because now you feel like you've um you're stuck with this person, or you're, you know you're just stuck in the past of what you had with this person because you're you know do you remember, right? Memories. You're allowing the memories that you have with this person stop you from leaving. The memories is keeping you stuck. The memories is what you are clinging to. That's the reason why you are having so much trouble moving on. All right? Crossroads. Do you remember? Yeah. And then you have the individuality card here of the crossroads. Right? And this just talks about like courage and being unique, having the courage to do something, right? Express yourself, being able to express yourself, right? Two of swords here, your intuition being blocked, not trusting yourself, right? Individuality, courage, right? Unique, expressive, right? Individuality. Um, if you're not an individual, if you're not a leader, you're a follower, right? So are you going to, you know, the crossroads, are you going to follow your own path or are you going to be a follower? Individuality. Individual. Leader. Right? So are you going to be a leader or a follower? Yeah. Do you remember memories, crossroads, stuck in the past? So that's the reason why you're having such a hard time choosing what path to go down because you're stuck on the memories. You're clinging to the memories. Do you remember? You're not following your own path. You're, you're being a follower. You're following this person down their path. And it's really just time for you to make your own your own path. Do you remember being, you know, even with this do you remember card, do you remember how you were treated? Do you remember, you know, the things that you wanted before you met this person? Do you remember? Right? 
Let's continue. That's a Wednesday, y'all. Do you remember? These guys are going to be reminiscing ooh, hard. Wednesday, you're going to be thinking about all the past things that you've done with this person. Oh my God, they're my soulmate. I've been with them for this is such a matter of years and yada, yada, yada. And you're just going to be stuck in that past and just clinging on to those memories. But individuality, you know, understand that you are individual. You yourself have your own path. You yourself have your own um, creations and things that you want to do. And don't be afraid to start expressing yourself, you know. Let go of fear, you know, and don't be a follower, right? Be that leader. <clears throat> Thursday, spirit, Thursday. The letter, this contract, this letter, this message um, that's coming in for us. Let me move this down for you so you can see. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so the letter. All right, Thursday, the letter spirit, this message. What is this message about, you know? What is this un <clears throat> unsuspected opportunity here that sends our viewer into being the queen of wands here? Like, what is this message? What is this new opportunity? What is this? <clears throat> what is this reason to celebrate? The letter spirit. What is this news? What is this communication spirit? The table, please. Just one. Oh, gave me two. Oh, three, two. I'll take them both. Um, we have the T. And you got teacher. So the T, uh, we know that we're getting some type of communication. It's funny that you got T because you got the cups here, right? Mm, if this is work, this could be gossip. But no, this 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 can't be. We got the sun. Friday, we got reasons to celebrate and come out the house. Well, it still could be tea. It could it could be gossip, you know, the tea, storytelling. You're just, you're gonna be shocked at what what's being told. For some of you, um, you guys need to drink some tea. You know, some type of detox. It's time for you to go on a detox, and that that's not just like to lose weight or anything. But when I say like a detox, I mean like people, places, and things as well, you know? And with this communication, this letter, you got teacher, some type, like, the knowledge, the care. Um, maybe you guys are going to receive, um, maybe you want to be a teacher, maybe you're a tutor. Maybe you are going to, um, it's like I said before, this is something with the internet too. So maybe you're a lot launching some type of blog or something on the internet. Teacher, the T, right? Telling gossip stories, right? Queen of Wands, Daughter of Cups. So maybe this is a new idea that has came to you. Maybe this is a download. Maybe not a physical person calling you, but actual like a spiritual download. To become this this educator, to become this person that is um, a professor of some sort, somebody that's knowledgeable in cooking, knowledgeable with hair, knowledgeable with nails, knowledgeable in herbs with this tea card, this cup and this sunflowers, yeah, herbal teas. Mm, Thursday. We know you're, you're it's definitely some type of communication, some good news. Mm, 
give me another one on this, please. Spirit. Just one card. This is something that comes in actually pretty fast to you. Right? The tea, the gossip, the storytelling. I do feel like some of you are starting a blog or starting maybe a YouTube channel. I don't know. Caught it. Yeah, locking secret. Spilling the tea. Um, letting the secrets out. Lock and key. Some type of knowledge. Yeah, you got the secrets and you guys got the skills. I don't know. Maybe the spirit was telling me that, telling me this is a secret. On Thursday, this is just something for you guys to, you know, obviously it's not good to know every single detail of our lives, right? But maybe they just don't want to tell me it's a secret. I don't know. But this is something that's going to come in and it's going to make you happy. And it's, you're going to be surprised. And I feel like it's just going to fill you with passion and joy. The Tower and the Hierophant Spirit with this sun. The Tower Spirit. What is this tower with this Hierophant and this sun here? Friday. When this deck, this tower is not like a tower moment, you know, like that. Ooh, rags to riches. Some of y'all going to probably hit the jack. Some of y'all going to probably hit the lotto. Oh, shit. Some of y'all might hit the lotto or something. Max and riches. Give me another spirit. Self-made, abundant, rich. Ooh, full circle. Let's go again. got old school we got rags to riches and old school with the tower the hierophant and the sun right so like i said before friday i don't know what happens thursday but you got reasons to celebrate and you got rags to riches here self-made abundant rich changes and joy Yeah, just be sure not to have that lack mentality so that this come through to y'all because I want to know. I want this to be me. Old school. Rags to riches and old school. Rags to riches and old school. I feel like you're going to bring, you know, you're going to rags to riches with your peeps. Your day ones, old school, right? Your old school peoples, right? Rags to riches, old school. The tower. Reasons to celebrate. Reasons to come out with this hierophant. Right? Rags to riches. Yo, if y'all do come up on some bread, be careful of who y'all call, who y'all tell, because look at these people in this, this car. This is somebody, if this is not y'all on this card, this is people that you want to tell that you done came the fuck up on. And it's hard times out here. So be careful who y'all run into with this type of um information, you know, lock and key. You might want to keep this shit a secret with this tea card gossip. Yeah. Rags to riches. Old school courtship vintage, right? Some of y'all came up on an antique or something. Um, I don't know if you inherited grandma's ring. I don't know if you inherited grandma's watch. But this rags to riches, old school. This is an, an inheritance. Rags to riches, old school. Yeah, some of this is going to be an inheritance. That's obviously not for everybody, the hierophant and the sun.
I don't know, guys, but you come up on something here. Definitely with this letter. And I said lotto because look at that. That looked like a, like a ticket. But this reading's getting long, so I'm going to let y'all go. Sudden surprise, y'all. Sudden change in events. Tuesday and Wednesday is look, looking a little rocky, but some shit shifting. I don't think y'all care about that shit anymore. Oh, you might take your, your, your boo back. Old school, right? You might, um, rags to riches, being abundant, happy again. You might take your boo back. Because old school, right? Something that you already know. Something, something that's been around, right? Well, that was your, what's popping for this week? <laughs> Monday Madness and Monday Monday reading. I hope you all enjoyed. Magical Virgin, over and out.